Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm filming uh, live out of my private office here in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, this is a Biomet 3i custom abutment. Uh, it's called Certain, I believe, Prevail. The uh, new, brand new gold coat coated uh, titanium screw is inserted. Now I'm going to find the orientation and insert the abutment and the screw together. I have a driver that will fit perfectly in there and um, we will eventually be torquing this, this down I believe to 20 Newton centimeters um, is all you need for this particular screw. So let's retry our crown and abutment. Now we know everything is highly polished. We got a nice highly polished collar coming off of the abutment. I did not polish the part of the abutment that goes into the crown. We want as much retention as we can get from the temporary cement. Um, here's the driver. I'm going to go ahead and insert that now and just kind of go through the motions. Again, we have that fishnet up there, that 2x2 two two gauze. Make sure nothing falls down into the patient's mouth. And plenty of uh, cotton to hold the lip out of the way. So here we are, ready to try it. And of course, the mesial aspect, or the top, the, that part of the abutment is facing the canine tooth. And uh, now what I'm doing is inserting it. I'm lining it up, just getting a feel for the threads ever, ever so gently. I don't want to force anything at this point. So I'm going to use a blunt end gold instrument. And then this absolutely has no cutting edge on it whatsoever. It's just a plastic instrument used for placing composite. Now I've, I've pushed it in place. And I'm looking at it and checking the, the path. And I'm finding out that the path is a little different. So we're going to change it around. We're going to turn it around and uh, which looked like the the mesial is actually the distal. So I'm going to turn it completely 180 degrees around and we'll reinsert it. Alignment is important. Angle abutments are, are used whenever an implant fixture is placed on an angle in bone. Um, we're going to find out just how much the angle is here since this is a custom-made abutment. Um, again, now I'm inserting. You can see how the taperness goes toward in toward the patient's mouth uh, instead of sticking out. Again, go back in with a, an instrument to hold it in place while you're turning the driver. And slowly do that. And by the way, we still have the uh, tissue is still retracted with the gauze. So this is a platform switching or a, uh, you know, where the, the actual platform where the abutment meets the fixture. Uh, there's a, a little bit of a, of a shelf, if you will, for the gum tissue to roll into and uh, create a seal. So the emergence profile has a little better seal with the platform switching type of implant. We see it in other companies as well, not only Biomet 3i. Here's the crown. And you can see how tight it is. Uh, there's very minimal space on the distal. And I'm rechecking now just to make sure, am I in the right position? Um, again. Now I'm hand tightening. All right. Making sure it's down. Uh, I try to, you know, since there are uh, six sides to the hex, I mean, it could be a, a position that that may appear to be right, or maybe it might not. So you, ha you have that ability to move it now. So I'm un unscrewing again. See if 
I can reposition it. Again, this is all just gentle. No torquing yet. Take that abutment and see if I can reinsert it. And it feels like the original setting is the right setting. Feels like that. The dental system just pulled my uh, pulled the actual uh, mirror out of my hand because sometimes I don't even know that's in my hand. <laughs> I've got my fingers working here. So again, holding it in place. It's kind of confined in there. It's not a lot of room. And the visual's difficult right now for the viewer. But there's the angle now. Okay, so the thing to do now is to look at the crown itself and see how it would line up. Now I'm just ever so lightly hand tightening the abutment in place. Looks angled, looks tight on the distal. Uh, perhaps the lab could have, uh, you know, took a little bit off the distal of the abutment um, to gain a little more room for the crown and the metal and the porcelain. Uh, sometimes uh, the angulation becomes more of an issue and the retention from the crown. Obviously, it looks a little cantilevered toward the mesial, toward the front of the mouth. Now, I'm fitting the crown in very tight going in. You can see on the right in between the teeth there's not much space. It almost makes me want to think that there was a like a numbering order in which these crowns went in, like from back to front. Or excuse me, from front to back. So they probably seated this crown first and then seated the, uh, the other two behind it. So Right now, I'm explaining to the patient what we've got is a, a tight contact. So all my options are I can relieve either the abutment itself or I can relieve a little bit of the crown near, near the margin. Not on the margin, but near that area near the gum line to allow the crown to be in, reinserted. So I'm just going to unscrew this and see if it is a path of insertion issue, again, with the angulation of the abutment. Uh, this will be the third time I'm checking. Um, better be safe than sorry. You know, you come this far, you, you don't want to uh, not do the right thing. So again, back in with the gold instrument just to elevate that uh, abutment off, and then re-screwing it in place. So much goes into the making of a case like this and uh, it's too easy to criticize um, you know the lab uh, labs are doing the best they can you know in the circumstances that they have the surgeon can only place an implant in solid bone so the rest of it is up to design and um, I feel that uh, you know, there may be one slight obstacle here, but I think we can overcome that. Sorry you can't see much of this right now. I'm just trying to reposition it and see if there's another angle. So I, I really feel like this is the angle uh, at this point. I may try the crown in again. Or we may have to go ahead and adjust the, uh, the uh, that portion that, that is inserted within the crown. Crowns have a path of insertion. What what holds them up um, is the the path that lines up with the adjacent teeth. Now, if the crown is fine going in without the abutment, then it's the abutment that's the issue. So, it looks like that's where we're heading here. So, I'm going to let this uh, going to continue to tinker here a little bit until we can get 
um, a satisfactory result. And again, you have to have patience. It's uh, it's getting real close to the finish. So I really think that that's the right angle, and uh, we're going to be ready to uh, recheck that one more time. Took the screw out of it. And I'm just going to re-examine that. Alright, so I'm going to pick this up on the next video. Looks like I'm going to go a little bit back and forth off camera. So stay tuned. We'll get it in. You can count on it. Um, Again, feel free to, to write in. Comments are always accepted. And also, patients that need an opinion. First thing to do is to contact us and then send us an x-ray. Tell us your, your problem and we're, we're here to help. All right? Dr. Jerry Como, see you on the next video clip.